Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are going to be jumping back to our test save to take a look at another interesting mod slash plugin. And the one we're going to be looking at today is the Probe Control Room by forum user Topic Hayes. I, I have no idea if that's actually how you pronounce the name of that user, but... Uh, you can take a look at it for yourself, uh, uh, as always, with these mods. Link in the description so you can go and check it out. But what this mod does, and why I really love it as someone who likes to roleplay games, even, even games like Kerbal Space Program, I like making things a little RP-ish. And what this does is it adds an IVA view for your probe, so your unmanned vehicles. Now, I've built two little test things here, so let's go take a look at the test rover first and take a look at what this mod has to offer. Now, I'm quite excited by the... Why is there a bright light under our rover? That's kind of weird. Okay, but yes, one thing you may have noticed, since I have the toolbar mod installed up here, we have this IVA button which will take us into the probe control room for this little weird rover I built. Uh, but if you don't have the toolbar mod installed, how you can access the probe control room is just by right-clicking your probe, and you just click this button here for the IVA probe control. And when we do that, we get sucked into this internal view, which is a little bit lacking at the moment, but this is a plugin still in its alpha stage. So uh, hopefully in uh, due time, a nicer internal model and textures will be available. I I I'm assuming they will be from how this mod has progressed so far, but I, I really can't wait for those because it will look much nicer, I hope. Uh, but for right now, we have an interesting control layout, and as you will, of course, notice, we've got the lovely raster prop monitors in here. Oh, I love the raster prop monitor mod, and I always, always absolutely love it when part plugins use the raster prop monitors because they're just so much fun. Now, as you can see, this is pretty much a blank slate at the moment, so you know, for these, you can pretty much put on whatever you want onto these and arrange them however you would like. Oh, I've already got that one over there. And it's uh, just quite cool. I've already got the resources one as well. So you can arrange them however you like in whatever various order and however you like to fly. And of course, you have the standard sort of gauges here and there. But I always like the raster prop ones because they're just so, so beautiful. I mean, look, look at those. They're, they're, they're glorious. And as you can, of course, see here, we have a camera on this. And in fact, we have two cameras. We have this external view one, or external camera one, rather. And we also have camera two, which is sideways. I forgot to rotate that thing. But yeah, so you can cycle through your cameras on here. So you can have up to eight, which is quite cool. And you can even control the cameras a bit by zooming in and then zooming back out with the arrow keys. And for certain other bits of the raster prop monitor here, you can even do other cool stuff. Like I honestly, I have never seen this target management one in any raster prop monitor parts so far, but this is quite cool. Uh, you can sort of browse the menu here and choose your target for your vessel. And then when you have like another screen where you have your target info, which is that one, yeah, you get all the target info for it. And of course, we don't have a docking port, so we don't have the docking camera, but you have all your target rendezvous info, which is quite cool and very, very fun. And for me, like I said, I love to RP these sorts of things and being able to control a probe, say on Duna, so if we turn off the brake there, that is that red button I discovered, uh, we can drive this baby around with the camera views. And I, I just, I simply adore this ability. It's just, it's so much fun. You can RP it like it's uh, semi real world. You know, go drop a probe onto Duna and then Hit the IVA view and pretend that you're sitting back in the control room here back at the Kerbal Space Center and controlling the probe from far, far away. It's just 
nice. Though there are a few slight immersion breaking things. I don't actually think there's any... Hold on, let's just sort of do a circle. No, I don't have any parts on the ground right now, but if, say, there was something on the launch pad, we could still see the parts for them through the wall, or if you had another rover close by, you would see it through the walls here. So that kind of breaks immersion a little bit for the idea of you being back at a control room back planet side. But nonetheless, it is quite entertaining to be sitting in a probe control room and uh, controlling it as if you were just sitting here drinking your coffee, just an hour's commute from home, uh, when really this thing is on Duna. It, it's, it's, it's a whole lot of fun, adds a whole new level uh, to the game that I quite enjoy, but let's park this thing and turn the brake back on and head back to the Space Center to take a look at another probe that I have in orbit to show off a bit more of this mod and how it can work with multiple cameras. And let's go to the probe. Here we are. A simple, pretty quickly built probe that uh, is at a about a hundred thousand meter orbit, I believe. And a pretty simple thing, just a probe controller. We've got some science equipment here and some various camera views. And of course, a little engine here, which is completely useless because... Well, really, doesn't have enough fuel to really do anything, but hey, it's still fun. Now, this one has four cameras and some science equipment. Now, one one issue I have at the moment that I, th not with this, but more of, I, I should have probably tested this a bit better, is when you're in the control room, I was hoping, because we have this crew log here, which, of course, we don't have a crew roster, but I was hoping the flight log would carry your scientific info. Now, I'm not in career mode right now, so that might be why it's not recording that info, but I figured it would in the flight log. Um, but otherwise, you know, it should show all your separations and things like that. Uh, that should go quite smoothly, so as you take off, you'll see such and such separated, or yeah, this crashed into that part, etc., etc., uh, but, so that is still a useful panel, but I was hoping it would also show our science info. Now, as you can see on this one, I've got this set up with a whole lot of things here. We've got our chart over here, which is currently showing nothing. It did show a lot of stuff when I launched it into orbit, so I guess it lost some temporary info. We've got this wonderful set of tools here for flying it up. I used this thing to pilot this baby into orbit. And we've got our four separate camera views that we have. This is just looking directly ahead. This is behind. I wonder if we might be able to see the engine even. Hold on, is that even... There we go. No, we can't see the engine, but we're moving. All right. And we are now tumbling out of control. Lovely. And these two cameras here look at the sides where they are hopefully looking at the solar panels, but with the solar panels moving constantly, that... That does not work quite as well. <laughs> and of course, we have our glass cockpit stuff here as well. I love this nav ball. So much nicer than this old school regular one. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful and has so much more information on it. And I especially love this orbit one here. It's quite nice. It shows a lot of good orbital info. But yeah, overall, I'm really, really enjoying this probe control room plugin. It adds a, a nice new level to RPing this game that I quite enjoy. I, I've always thought it was a bit strange with the probes, you know, controlling it from the outside. I, I know I haven't done it in many videos, but I do actually like to control them from the insides of my for my other ships. But it is a lot more difficult, which is why I don't tend to for videos. Uh, but for the probes, it's a nice addition to finally have some sort of IVA view. And, uh, like I said, RPing that you're sitting back at the Kerbal Space Center controlling this thing in space. It does have some issues, of course. It is in an early stage of the plug-in. So one issue is uh, if you have a ship, say you're sending a large ship to another planet that has a crew, plus some probes that you'll either leave in orbit or drop onto the planet. If you're in this view and you go to the map view, it will then default back. Oh, that actually, that flight log did say the lift off there, interesting. Uh, it will default back after you leave the map view, it will go back to the crew view, so it won't come back to this 
prop, or not pro prop, a probe control room. And uh, that also seems to be a bug, because I did launch this thing into space with a full rocket, so I'm wondering if maybe it just lost all that flight info. That probably isn't a bug of this mod, just a bug of Kerbal Space Program in general, but yeah, that's why I was wondering why there wasn't anything on this flight log anymore. Uh, but yeah, we have that liftoff there now from in orbit. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's a really, really fun mod. I would definitely say if you like probes and sending those out rather than sacrificing Kerbals, this is a great addition, especially with camera parts. You know, like I said, you can have up to eight cameras and you can cycle through them on different monitors. And it's it's just it's a lot of fun. It adds a cool new feature to the game. I can't wait until it is more thoroughly finished when we have a better model in here and some better texturing. I really hope it looks like you're in some office building somewhere controlling these rather than in some, you know, spacecraft. And uh, yeah, I really would like, hope you guys like this and uh, that you go and check it out yourself. As always, links will be in the description so you can go and check this out for yourself. I hope you do. And I hope you also come back for the next episode where we'll be taking a look at something else here in Kerbal Space Program. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.